hi it's future from soulmate welcome to my channel i'm going to be showing you how to draft a sailor color pattern if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do and make sure to turn on your notification bell so that each time i upload new videos you get notified so you will need a basic bodies block to do this i'll leave a link in the description below and a link above for the one that i'm using here now so trace around your block as usual making sure to mark your notches i'm just gonna trace up to the waistline for this one so that you can just see what i'm doing now draw in your waistline my back body says a center back seam and a shoulder seam so i'm just gonna outline these two now starting with the shoulder seam 1.5 centimeters and then the center back seam 1.5 centimeters as well so we're going to take this out now measuring from the shoulder tip with the seam allowance we're going to go down four centimeters and put a mark then we're going to join this new point back to the next shoulder junction with a straight line like i'm doing here get your front bodies and we're going to align this point to this point and this line to this line like i'm doing here just pivot your pattern and now you're going to trace around your block like I'm doing here. Marking your notches as well. Lift your block. This is our center front and we're going to go down 13 centimeters. So measure 13 centimeters down from the center front neckline and put a mark. Connect this point to the shoulder notch with a straight line like I'm doing here. And we're going to go down 20 centimeters at center back. So measuring from the center back neck point down 20 centimeters, put a mark. And we're going to square a line across, which is 20 centimeters as well. You can choose to make it shorter or longer. It's up to you. Then we're going to square a line up to the shoulder seam. Make sure these two points are squared. Now join this point to this point with a curved ruler like I'm doing here. Just blend everything in nicely. Blend this point as well with a curved ruler. So this part is not involved in our pattern anymore. Now I'm adding my seam allowances, one centimeter all around except for the center back which is going to be on fold one centimeter down this way as well and one centimeter at the back and along the curved line as well you can choose to use whatever seam allowance you're comfortable with Draining these points nicely with a curved ruler. And transferring my shoulder notch. So this is going to be our collar draft. Now the first part of the pattern will be our under collar. Now we're going to add three millimeters right round except for the center back, which is going to be on fold. So this will be our top collar. Three millimeters right round like I'm doing here. And bringing it to nothing at the center front there. So three millimeters everywhere else except for center front where we're going to bring it back to nothing. Now cut around your pattern, which is our collar draft. Now center back is going to be on fold. 
Now get yourself two folded pattern papers and make sure to align your folded edges together. Now get your collar draft and align your center back with the folded edges like I'm doing here and pin everything down nicely so that nothing moves. Make sure everything is well aligned. You can choose to use a stapler instead of putting pins. It still works the same. Now cut around the outer edges. This will be our top collar. Just follow through the outer edges like I'm doing here. Now adding our shoulder point notch and removing the pin so we can separate our patterns. Now remove the bottom pattern paper so this is going to be our top collar and pin everything back together nicely again. And now we'll be cutting around for our under collar. So cut around the 3 millimeter line up to nothing at center front for our under collar now, like I'm doing here. Just trim off the 3 millimeter extension we added. And remove your pins so we can separate our pattern pieces. Now separate your patterns and open out your under collar. Now labeling the pattern under collar. Cut one plus one fusing. And I put my initial. Now adding my grain line at center back. Now put the under collar on the side for now and bring back our top collar. Open the pattern and adding my grain line to the center back. Now labeling the pattern, top collar, cut one and I put my initial. So both our sailor collar patterns are finished. Thank you.